Hi everybody, it's Mark Griffin here, product manager for Atala Prism. Today I'm going to give a quick demo of Atala Prism. So for those who don't know, Atala Prism is IOHK's self-sovereign identity and credential verification solution built on their Cardano blockchain. So you can see in front of me, we have a couple of applications that we're currently working on. And the right hand side is the Atala Prism mobile app. This is available in both Android and iOS. And this is used for people to receive, store and share credentials securely and privately. On the left hand side, then we have some applications that are used for organizations. So first we have the management console, and this is a web-based application, and it's used by organizations to create and manage credentials. Integrated with that, we have the Atala Prism Browser Wallet. This is going to be initially a Chrome extension. And this allows organizations to create and register DIDs on the Cardano blockchain and using those DIDs to sign credentials. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a quick run through of creating and issuing some credentials. And we're going to use this in the context of Atala Prism's first deployment which is in the Republic of Georgia. So as you all know, we're working with the Ministry of Education in the Republic of Georgia to deploy a talent prism to all schools and universities there to allow students to receive their credentials by a talent prism. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to register at a university in the Republic of Georgia via the browser wallet. So you can you can see here, like any other identity wallet, we initially have a recovery phrase. And this recovery phrase is used in instance where the browser wallet has been installed and this issue is getting to management console or else the organization wants to use another desktop for the management console. So let's take a screenshot of the recovery phrase. Obviously in production environment, you'd Secure this on a piece of paper and keep it secure. Okay, so now let's put in a password that allow us to lock and unlock the browser wallet. Let's go next. So now let's verify the recovery seed phrase by entering two of the random words. Let's hit next. So that's now been verified. And now we're just going to put in some organizational details. So first is the organization's name. So let's put in the free university. Then we'll just upload that organization's logo. We're going to accept some terms and conditions and privacy policy agreements. And let's register. So what's this going to do? It's going to create and register DIDs on the Cardano blockchain. And now we can log into the management console. So once you log into the management console, initially you can see this this message. So this just indicates that it takes a couple of minutes for that dead to be did to be registered. So once it's been registered, you'll be able to perform any actions in the management console. So now we have access to the management console. We can see a list of menu options and we can see a dashboard. The dashboard has some basic analytics. And this allows them to understand how they're going to utilize the and manage the uh, management console. So we can see some contacts that have been created, any groups that have been created. Groups are used to manage contacts and credentials. And then the number of credentials that have been created, whether they're in draft, whether they've been signed by the browser wallet, and any credentials received. So contacts, then again, we have to import some contacts in order to issue them credentials. So there's a couple of ways to import contacts. One is by a bulk import via a CSV file. 
Another one is importing manually through the system itself. And third is, which we don't have implemented yet, is via SDKs into the organization's record keeping systems. So for this demonstration, we're just going to do a bulk import and we're going to upload a CSV file of contacts. These are students who've recently graduated and then we're going to create a group for these students. Let's call it graduating group 2021. And let's go hit done. And you can see that those students have been imported. And we can see those student details and student name, external ID. This is essentially the primary key of that student. And that could be the student ID that's imported from the record keeping system. So you can see that these contacts are pending connection. They haven't connected with the organization with the Atala Prism mobile app. So what would happen in a real life scenario, the student would go into the registrar office, they prove who they are. And once they've done that, a QR code is generated. So let's do that now. And then let's scan that QR code with the Prism mobile app. So on scanning, you can see that it's now asking us in the mobile app to connect to the free university. So let's confirm that. And the free university is now added as a contact. And in the management cons console, the contact status has changed to connected. So this has now created a secure channel between the student and the org and the university in which to send credentials securely. So now let's create some credentials. So I'll just go down to credentials. So in this case, I've gone to the ceremony. I've got my paper-based degree and I now want to be issued it digitally to the Atala Prism mobile app. So when creating credentials, there's going to be a number of different templates that I could have configured in the system. Could be an education degree, the complete transcript, maybe a student ID as well. So let's select a group for who I want to create the credentials for. And again, I'm going to do a, do a bulk import of the credential data. Let's use a CSV file again. And you can see now six credential records have been imported. Now what I can do now is I can do a quick preview of all the credentials. You can see here, this is a HTML representation of the degree. And it's totally customizable to look like the real paper-based uh, credential. So let's scroll through those. Let's just make sure we're happy with that data. And then I'll go next to confirm that. That is just quite just a second to create. I'm in a development environment. Okay. So now you can see those credentials have been successfully created. It's now appearing in the credentials listing. We have both credentials issued and we can also receive credentials. So let's have a look at the credentials. We have credential type, educational degree, the contact name, external ID, whether it's been signed or not, the contact status, whether it's been connected or not, and the credential status. So as you can see, they're all in draft status. So once they've been created, you can see that they go to the browser wallet automatically. And now in the browser wallet, we can see there's a number of signature requests. It's now asking me to sign those. And this is going to create a hash of that credential on the Cardano blockchain. So again, I can scroll through each of those credentials just to make sure that they're OK. Let's just sign my one. So that's now successfully signed. Let's go back and then just update that credential listing. And you can see that the credential status has changed the credential signed. So now as an organization, I can now send that to the student. So let's do that. Let's hit send. And 
And let's go to notifications in the mobile app. So that's been successfully sent from the management console. And let's see that notification come in on the mobile app. Connection's a bit slow. And there's come in now. So I've got a new credential educational degree from the Free University and received at this timestamp. So let's view that in the mobile app. I can see the HTML rendering of it. And it's going to be exactly like the credential in the management console. Let's view those side by side. So there they are, both the same. Great. So now that student has received their educational securely in their PRISM app. And then they can share that with whoever they wish. For example, a, a company that they want to apply a job for. So in the management console, let's go to view credential. And let's go into verification details. And I can now see the, the hash, the transaction on the Cardano blockchain. And you can see it's the Cardano testnet and there's the transaction. That contains the hash of the credential. So any third party can now verify that this credential has been issued by that organization and it hasn't been tampered with. So there you go. That's a quick walkthrough of the management console and the mobile app. So thank you very much and stay tuned.